There was a study, all right, that showed that if a hotline, a smoking hotline used positive language, all right, the smokers would have more success in quitting if they would have been spoken to in a positive tone. Right. The study was conducted at Yale, Yale University, and they found that that if somebody called into a hotline and it was very positive, um, they had more of a chance to get people to quit smoking. OK, now I kind of have a problem with this, right, because I could just imagine the hotline. All right. Somebody calls up saying, yeah, I'm a smoker. I can't quit. What do I do? Oh, that's OK. You'll be able to quit. Just please keep trying. Pretty please. Please with sugar on top. Please quit smoking. All right, if that's what's going on on these hotlines, uh-uh, it's not going to work. All right, I need to get behind one of these hotline phones because if I got, you know, behind one of these hotline phones, somebody calls in and tells me they can't quit smoking, I'd be like, what the hell is going on? You still haven't quit smoking? What is your problem? You are going to die. You will die. You have got to quit smoking. You're killing your, your spouse. You're killing your kids. You're killing your fish. None of this Will you please stop? Get the hell off the cigarettes now because you will die. That's what should be on the hotline. That's what should be going on on the hotline. Honestly, I, I, n- none of this positive pussyfooting, kitten gloving around. You know, getting off smoking is tough. This nicotine addiction is tough. All right. This is some real tough stuff, guys. All right. You, you can't pussyfoot. Yes, it's nice to have a hotline. You know, if you're jonesing for I mean, all I know is, you know, I jones for chocolate. If I'm jonesing for chocolate, I'm not going to want to call somebody and hear somebody on the other line. But there are these hotlines. I know there's tobacco abuse hotlines throughout the city and they're very good. But I don't think I like the oh, you'll be OK. No. All right. You have got to ram, ram that message home that they will die. You know, don't you think that's more that's more effective? All right. For those of you just joining us, this is the Dr. Dahlia show. Yes, I am operating a smoking hotline right now.